Hello everyone, welcome to Code Enzyme. In this uh, video, I will discuss this D problem from the Goodbye 2023. And before starting this video, I would like you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. As um, majority of my viewers are, have not subscribed to my channel yet. So, uh, so let's start. First, let's read the problem statement. You are given an odd number, and you need to find n different numbers that are squares of the integer. But it is not uh, that simple. Each number should have a length n. Okay and should not have any leading zeros that is also okay and the multi set of digits of all the numbers should be the same now uh, let's first see the sample input like for n equal to 1 uh, for n equal to 1 we can simply print 1 because uh, uh, 1 is the only number here okay for n equal to 3 uh, the sample output is basically 196 169 and 961 so what is happening here that we need to uh, that all these numbers should be uh, should use the same three digits and should be perfect square like this is the square of i think uh, like 196 is the square of 14 and 169 is square of 13 and 961 is i think uh, the square of uh, 31 right it is uh, the square of 31 so like this we can say that uh, uh, we have to create numbers so uh, the actually the this is a very constructive problem and pretty easy if you understand the logic so let's now discuss the approach now if we want to uh, make numbers like for n equal to 1 we know the answer will be 1 uh, let's fix that for now for n equal to 3 from the sample output we know the answer is 169 196 and 691 right now for n equal to 5 we need to make five numbers which uses the same number of digits uh, same set of digits and uh, uh, should be uh, perfect squares right now the answer given here is to confuse you actually what you can do is you can because any number times 100 if we multiply a perfect square by 100 it will be a perfect square right and also we know that uh, like i think you have heard that 11 square is 121 right and 10 one square one square is 10201 I think this is very famous and you must know it like 1002001 and from this we can also say that 13 square is 169 right and 103 square is equals to 10609 and 1003 square I think you get the idea what I am trying to do so we will use this concept and uh, from this we can say that for n equal to 5 what we can do is we can multiply this uh, n equal to 3 by 100 so we will get 10 169 00 i'm multiplying those numbers 196 00 and 6 uh, uh, 691 00 and now we need two more uh, odd numbers right uh, oh, sorry two more perfect squares right so for that we can do 10609 and 90601 i think you get the idea now like for n equal to 7 i can simply add two more zeros in this uh, in these so my answer will be 169 0 and we need two more numbers to make uh, seven so for that we can do one zero zero six zero zero nine right one zero zero six zero zero nine and nine zero zero six zero zero one and like that we can continue like for if we have n equal to nine i can simply add two more zeros in here and we need two more so i will do one zero 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 six zero 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 nine and nine zero 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 six zero 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 one and i think you now get the idea so uh, in this fashion we can find the number of uh, perfect squares right so let's just try to code this up very quickly mm. and this time i think i will code in python because the code will be much shorter so first let's take the input right now if my n is 1 simply print 1 and let's return it and if it is something else 
like uh, let's first make the uh, array right we have 169 uh, 196 sorry 196 and we have 961 right and let's say while len l uh, is uh, less than n so what we want to do like if it is not uh, if it is greater than 3 and um, then what we will do is we will add zeros to all of them right so for i in range uh, len l uh, l of i plus equals to uh, 0 0 so we will add uh, zeros to end of all these then we need to add two more numbers so let's say num1 is equals to 1 will start with uh, 169 and num2 is equals to let's say 9 and now we need to add some zeros so for uh, i in range uh, let's say let's also get the length of x right len l uh, x minus 1 upon 2 these many zeros will be added uh, so num1 is equals to num1 plus uh, a 0 same goes for num2 after that we need to add a 6 to them right so I will do a 6 here num1 is equals to num1 plus uh, a 6 num1 num2 is equals to num2 plus uh, 6 and in the end we also want to add zeros once more so I will just repeat it here and then in the last I will just copy this and put a 9 here and a 1 here I think this should work and then l dot append num1 comma uh, and num2 so I have generated all these and then for i in l I can print i now let's see if it is working here so I think it is working and let's now just try to submit the code mm, let's select python 3 here I am using python 3.8 I think mm, 3.12 I think they updated it and let's, and let's uh, go with that and our solution is already accepted yeah so this is the code uh, and if you were able to understand it kindly like this video and subscribe to the channel i will see you guys next time thank you